Okay, so here we have the moons. These were stolen off of the interwebs and uh, adjusted to be various sizes with high contrast in the hopes that somewhere in here we will get them to fit on this wax. Okay. And so what we need to do now is cut out our various moons. And uh, I think in the video I labeled the file as 40%. But um, this was actually printed off as 30%. So I have hence renamed the file correctly. For those of you who have been following and said, Oh no, you did it wrong. It's okay, I caught it when I reviewed the video. So what we're trying to do now is just get access to all of the moons that we might be using and get all that extra paper that we know we're never going to use. Out. And so if you're one of those people who is worried about losing copies, um, you can always design your, your file to print off um, more more copies on one piece of paper, but uh, generally I just worry about it once and then if I need another one I print off the file and label it so that I can actually see what uh, what I did for repeatability. So we're just trying to break this down to find moons that fit well on the um, on the wax. We're going to find some are too big and some are too small. I'm just looking for baby bear. Right? So, got a little extra room there. That one might be appropriate. So, what we're going to do now, take our scissors, and do our best. Put this back in focus. Much better. We're just trying to cut around our circle. Okay. And this is only necessary if you aren't carving something from your imagination, although. I must say, it does come in handy to be able to um, print something off if you're trying to make, you know, a very specific geometry, like, um, oh, like a star pattern, like a five-pointed star. So this is just double sticky tape. You can do the, uh, I know a lot of artists will do rubber cement. They like the rubber cement. They both work fine. It's really a, a question of what you're more used to. I blame the printmakers. I spent too much time with them. Um, they like the double sticky tape. And, you know, I think it's either way, you're going to have an issue putting the whole thing together. Right. But uh, you got to commit to this whole thing. You know, you're putting, you're putting it on, whether it's rubber cement or double sticky tape. And you just got to say, all right, that's it. That's all I've got. It's on there, and now I've got to take my pokey tool and gouge out everything that is this darker region. And so th that I'm going to do on time lapse because, as exciting as it is to watch me sit here and make all these, you know, obscenely delicate registrations, you know, poke, 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 I think you get the idea. And so we'll just speed that up to show you the perimeter. But that's actually why I left the um, the blackened outline of uh, the moon because you always need to trace around your edge but if you have a white moon on white paper uh, it's a little harder to find that edge. So you can see I'm just poking into the the perimeter of this darkened region here of the craters of the moon just to establish what that perimeter looks like and then when I peel the tape off there'll be this nice kind of chewed up area that tells me where I'm going to carve so then I'm going to 
follow the perimeter of, of the moon itself all the way around and uh, do the same thing. So pretty straightforward, but uh, I don't think you need to watch it for all two hours or however long it takes. I'm going to put some tunes in and just rock out to this thing. Okay, so in theory, thanks to the magic of time lapse, this is all done with rapid poking. Didn't take that long, just a couple of tracks. So we're just going to peel off. Now you can see we have an outline of our topography of the moon. The thing I like about the double sided tape is if you get halfway through and you go, oh crap, I need to do more detail, you can just do this. The rubber cement is a little less forgiving, okay? So if for some reason you get over there and you realize you did not trace your outline, like, oh no, I should have made that better, you can just stick it back on and then come back and reestablish your perimeter at your leisure. Just know at some point you're going to poke so many darn holes in this tape that there's not going to be any tape to hold itself together. But for the most part, the tape and the paper give you a little more flex in terms of adding and removing your design. Okay. And uh, if you're feeling that ambitious, yes, you can just start carving straight into the paper. But generally, I find if, if you don't feel like you have a good map from here, um, it's time to go back and reestablish your map because getting oriented, saying like, where is this signature crater? relative to my carving. Uh, if you can't tell, then you're going to want to make that more obvious and go back. Okay.